Okay, right, we've got a shape here, it's a triangle, um, and we've got to find the uh, shaded part. Okay, so essentially you've got to find the area of the triangle and take away the area of the sector of the circle there. Now we can't do anything without finding the size of this angle, essentially. And we're going to do that using the cosine rule. So the cosine rule is, um, well, you can find it at the front of the paper, but it's, it's basically 12.6 squared equals 10.4 squared plus um, 18 squared minus 2 times 10.4. I'm going to struggle to fit this in, I reckon, times 18 times cos of, and I'll call that theta. Cos theta. Now you rearrange that and you get basically get theta equals cos to the minus 1 of uh, 10.4 squared plus 18 squared minus uh, what is it, 12.6 squared, all over 2 times 10.4 times 18. Okay, stick that in your calculator, you end up with uh, 43.093, up of 09 degrees. Okay, so once I've got that, then it becomes fairly straightforward. So I've got to do the area of the triangle, Okay, so it's triangle, and I'll colour code it, minus sector. Alright, so I'll try and colour code it. So the triangle is going to be a half times 10.4 times 18 times sine of 43.09. Alright, and, uh, and then minus, actually that negative should be uh, in a neutral colour, shouldn't it? So here we go, minus... Okay, and the green is going to be pi times, now the radius of that circle, 10.4 squared times 43.09 over 360. Okay, because that's the fraction of circle we've got. Stick that all in your calculator, you end up with, what was it, 23.2719 uh, Okay, and they want us to round it to... Three significant figures, so there we go, and we should end up with 20, 20 oh, here we go, hang on, 23.3 centimetres squared. Alright, so pretty straightforward actually in the end, uh, as long as you can spot that, you've got to find that angle theta here, alright, that's crucial, but then it's just the area of the triangle minus the area of the sector, and pretty straightforward.